Kintsugi is not art, at least according to my friend Koishira Sensei, who is not only an artist but teaches how to do Kintsugi at his studios in Okayama and Kyoto. He's been doing Kintsugi for decades and explained that Kintsugi is a lacquering technique dating back roughly 600 years. Back then, only feudal lords and the aristocracy could afford ceramics, so when their servants or samurai accidentally broke their pottery, it was punishable by death or even seppuku, but not before repairing it. The key point of Kintsugi was to use gold or other precious metals in the form of a high class lacquering technique called makie. The gold not only looked beautiful, but it clearly indicated that someone broke it and had to pay a lot to get it fixed. You see, even 600 years ago, lacquerers had the skills to completely hide chips and cracks, but the point of Kintsugi was to acknowledge that something was broken. To hide it was akin to lying or avoiding responsibility, so the veins of gold were a way for the aristocracy to showcase the loyalty of their servants. Koishira sensei prefers Kintsugi to be used more for functional purposes. If a bowl or a cup brings you joy or makes you want to eat, then treasure it and use it well.